With many Hollywood productions constantly being derailed by onset outbreaks, making a television show during a nearly year-long pandemic has proven to be very challenging. You see, back when the filming of the 10th season of American Horror Story was supposed to start in March, there was speculation that the season could air earlier in the year than any season had before it. The thing is, FX has never put a release date on season 10, not before the pandemic and still not now after about a month of shooting has been completed. So it is nearly impossible to anticipate their plans in a year as unpredictable and always changing as this last one. In my last What We Know video, I was optimistic about the possibility that AHS 10 could be aired in the first half of 2021, but I think with the events of the last few weeks, it is becoming clearer that a normal fall release schedule for American Horror Story will likely be in the cards for this year. Let me explain. But first, I would just like to thank my channel members for their support and let you know that you too can become a channel member for as low as 99 cents a month and receive exclusive videos and early access to every upload. So filming for AHS 10 finally started on December 2nd, 2020, and continued until the cast and crew were given a week off during the week of Christmas. But just over a week before the AHS 10 cast and crew celebrated the holidays, their sister show American Crime Story Impeachment was shut down after multiple members of the cast and crew tested positive. But AHS 10 had no publicized production hiccups that we know of, that is, until now. Because over the week of Christmas Day, California and Los Angeles reported record-breaking daily COVID cases, thus putting the area's hospital infrastructure on high alert. This prompted SAG-AFTRA, also known as the Screen Actors Guild, to announce that most productions that are based in Los Angeles would remain on holiday hiatus until at least the third week of January. The president and the executive director of the Screen Actors Guild stated in a message, Most entertainment productions will remain on hiatus until the second or third week of January, if not later. This means that the number of our member performers working on sets right now is reduced. Our safety protocols ensure appropriate precautions for the holiday hiatus period, including additional time for testing prior to the resumption of production. End quote. Just so we're clear, I think this is a very appropriate response from SAG-AFTRA. Absolutely no TV show or movie is worth lo losing lives over or increasing the risk of, God forbid, having no available ICU beds. So ever since SAG-AFTRA announced this hiatus, a bunch of television studios have announced that they are obviously going to comply with this. Disney Television Studios, which runs FX now and Fox and all that, is one of them, and they have confirmed that uh, their shows that are filming in Los Angeles right now will be on hold until at least January 18th, and that includes American Horror Story. So it looks like the hiatus won't be uh, too detrimental to the schedule of shooting and will be over pretty quickly. But regardless, thanks to new light shed on the production of Pose, I'm starting to believe FX is taking their sweet time getting all of their seasons shot during this pandemic. Like I've said in the past, American Crime Story Impeachment is expected to shoot for eight months, and now Poe star Billy Porter has revealed that Poe's third season is relying on not shooting a large chunk of many episodes until after a vaccine is widely distributed. He said that they've only been filming the acting scenes of the episodes they're filming, and no ballroom scenes have been filmed yet. And if you're familiar with Pose, the ball scenes are the massive centerpieces of most episodes, and those scenes, of course, require a lot of extras in an enclosed space, which is something that is simply impossible to do safely right now. We have not shot any of the balls yet. So um, we, we're, we've been shooting the scene work, and I believe that we're waiting um, for the ball sequences to hopefully you know, be shooting them inside of some sort of vaccine situation so that we can have all those people in the room. The U.S. is still very early in the process of distributing the vaccine, and I am no health expert, but with the CDC's rough timeline in mind, this wait could potentially make Pose Season 3's shoot last up to six months, which, along the lines of American Crime Story, is also much longer than usual. So, with Pose and American Crime Story taking their time with shooting, I wouldn't be surprised if AHS 10 is too. The only scenario I could see where AHS 10 premieres before the fall TV season was if FX wanted to fast track the season to have at least one of its flagship series to air. Another hint that AHS is following after its Ryan Murphy siblings' footsteps is that 
Ryan Murphy Television has just applied to shoot American Horror Story Season 10 in Provincetown, Massachusetts between the months of February and March 2021. If you recall, Provincetown was where Season 10 was originally supposed to start filming back in March of 2020, but ever since the outbreak, it has been unclear if the production had any intentions on returning to the location that they had initially chosen. But it seems that AHS would like to film some scenes in Provincetown after all but it now falls on the town's tourism board to give Ryan Murphy Productions and 20th Century TV the appropriate permits. Local publication called the Cape Cod Times reported this on December 29, 2020, stating, Producer Ryan Murphy's company is looking to film on the Cape's tip early next year for what appears to be the 10th season of American Horror Story. The town received an application for a film permit from 20th Century Fox to film Pilgrim, a Ryan Murphy production in February or March, according to the Provincetown Tourism Director. Once more details and information from 20th Century Fox is received in January, the town will consider proceeding with the permitting, he said. So if the permit does get approved, this just means that these on-location shoots would likely be shot in bulk for many episodes during the month that they're filming in Provincetown, and then production would resume in Los Angeles to shoot the rest of the season. And depending on how much they intend to film there, it could just be a second unit crew filming scenes in Provincetown while the main production is simultaneously happening in LA as well. You may have noticed that the article name dropped Season 10's working title, which is Pilgrim. This leaked about a month ago, and I did a whole video about what this working title could mean, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Now, let's move on to the last thing I want to talk about, which is it seems like we're at the point of updating an AHS season where we have to deal with Twitter rumors. So let's briefly get into one that has become pretty widespread. The cast of season 10 had been announced in February 2020 to be Kathy Bates, Macaulay Culkin, Leslie Grossman, Billy Lord, Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters, Adina Porter, Lily Rabe, Angelica Ross, and Finn Wittrock. Now, there are some rumors that this has changed in the almost year since the cast was revealed, and like I said, when production was first derailed, this delay in shooting could have created some conflicts with these 10 main cast members. But again, what I'm about to say is a rumor, and I want that to be very clear that this has not been confirmed by any viable sources, but it has been speculated that Kathy Bates will no longer be a main cast member in the season, the rumor of her departure from the season was started by AHS Central on Twitter, who claims to have reliable sources close to production. But let's be very clear, this is a rumor started by a fan-run Twitter account. So this could very easily be completely made up. But I wanted to bring it up because it seems likely that a nine-month delay in production would certainly not align with every actor's commitments. So do I trust this account? Absolutely not. I will only report things as facts if they are confirmed by a trade source or a cast member or a crew member, but I do not think it would be outlandish that Kathy Bates would have to exit the season due to pandemic-related concerns. She is in her 70s after all, so keep this possibility in mind, but also take it with a grain of salt. If this does end up being true, the question now is will we get an actor replacing Kathy to play her role? Surely the character that Kathy Bates was playing is pivotal and has already been revealed to be interlaced with Macaulay Culkin's character, so unless somehow Kathy's character can be easily written out of the season, I'd say we may have one or two additions to the main ensemble that were not attached back in February's cast announcement. But again, this has not been confirmed or reported by any viable source. It is a Twitter rumor. So let me know what you think. Everything regarding the season is so unclear, and at this point we're just waiting for a teaser or a trailer with a premiere date at the end, and I have a feeling it shouldn't be too far off because they have footage from the season. They've been filming for a month, and I'm sure they are eager to start promoting it. Let me know when you think AHS 10 will finally air in the comments below. Give this video a like if you liked it, and I apologize that this video was majorly a bummer, but just know I am very much looking forward to discussing a new season of American Horror Story with you all, and hopefully it can be a celebration and a reward after uh, this last year that I'm sure has not been easy on any of us. We are also supposed to get the spinoff this year as well, so there are some things to look forward to. I'm sending my well wishes to you all this new year, and I sincerely thank you all for your kind words over this last year specifically. 
But uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's now been four years since Scream Queens has aired its last episode, and unless the planned revival takes fruition, the show is destined to live in the world of TV shows that were underappreciated at their time, but gained cult followings after the fact. There are a lot of...